So without any further ado, Ed, it's an honor. Thank you for that awesome intro. Uh, I'm, a, I'm just a kid from Tijuana, you know? Uh, can you put the second slide on? Just move it, just move one of the slides over. Another one over. That's, that's who I am. <laughs> I'm sorry, like the bracket that you got, but that's who I am. Uh, that's a very freshly shaven me. Um, all of those vests, or vests that the U.S. Uh, law enforcement threw away or donated or some shit like that. They were all second chance vests. Uh, by then, they were like fifth or sixth chance probably. Uh, they smell like cheese, you know? That's what we have. You know, I mean, if somebody says, hey, you want to be a police officer, what comes to mind? On my end? Police Academy. That <laughs> guy. High power. Uh, that's what came into my mind. But the academy that I was a part of was not that. It was a it was a prison that wasn't good enough to be a prison. When we saw them, and part of my uh, says my French, they told us you have bread and dick to eat here. Pan y verga. And guess what? We ran out of bread a year ago. There I was. Uh, man. I guess I'm a fucking carnivore now. <laughs> they found a house with a bunch of people in it. They called the military. At this time, the military didn't have arresting powers. So they would use us to be embedded with the military so we can arrest people. I put the strap of my duffel bag on my G3 rifle. But man, shit. Uh, second, second chance vest that felt like newspaper, you know? Check out the boom over there, Ed. Um, and we went into this room that was just covered in weapons. If you've ever seen the movie Predators 2, when you go into that room, it's just People is we. It's just going to be grenade launchers and stuff like that around the room. That's the one that I run into. And all of a sudden, I'm like, and there's a soldier there with a mask on. He looks at me. I'm looking at him. And he's like, <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> That was my first supply. That is the first uh, drug loaded, drug loaded quad drone that was ever found. And our group found it in the middle of uh, a road that leads to Pines and Quad. Uh, when we found it, everybody shut off their sirens and you can just hear the rest of the flight. And in my mind, I was like, shit, this is gonna get real. Um, Probably three years later, the first one was uh, uh, with a grenade on it. It was lying on the, on the backyard of my office. It didn't go off, but it was like a first attempt. And then later on, I started doing the same. And the university is what it is. In Mexico just became a haven for cartel drugs, chemical and explosives. Uh, but when the US wanted to ask questions about some of these things, we'll have people down there. And, the thing about Mexico is Mexico doesn't have a memory. Not like the US. Somebody showed me this quote during my therapy. Enlightenment is a destructive process. It has nothing to do with becoming better or being happier. Enlightenment is the crumbling away of untruth. It's seeing through the facade of pretense, it's the complete eradication of everything you imagine to be true. And that's something you get when you get punched in the face. That's something you get when you square up with a jujitsu dude and he tries to go to your legs and you just take out a pen and stick it right into his ear. And you never saw that come. That's an interesting aspect that you learn, you know? 
You can do any trick once. And anything is out of the once. Also, it's like the <laughs> <day. laughs> A lot of us want to buy solutions, but a lot of us want to buy security, a lot of us want to buy protection. And what we're actually buying in that is a faith. Owning a plane doesn't make you a pilot. It's like having a gun doesn't make you undangerous. What makes you dangerous is attention and your ability to visit that constantly. And that's what we're going to focus on this week. Boom! It's finally here. Go to ProtectorNation.com to join the Protector Nation community. Learn online and become part of our Protector Nation family. I look forward to seeing you guys there and for us all to join forces to make the world a safer place by helping good people to become more dangerous. I'll see you there and until then, be peaceful but not harmless.